This is going to be a really long video and it is jam packed with plush. friends welcome back to my channel but if you're new here my name is lizzie and i am a disney plush collector from the uk so happy wednesday i hope you've all had a great day i am here with my shop disney christmas haul and plush review so these are all of the plush that i've bought from the christmas range at the time of filming it is all of them so i don't think they're going to release anymore if they do you're gonna see a future Lizzie inserted to review that plush. But most of these released on Monday the 2nd of October, so I did manage to put my order in before we flew to Walt Disney World, and I didn't even see any of these in Walt Disney World to be honest, because they get their own parks plush, which I am reviewing for you next week because I was lucky enough to pick them up. But one of them was coming soon, and I will tell you which one that was. I think it released a week later. I put it on a notify me where you get an email when it comes back in stock, so I did manage to get it because it is my favourite out of all of them, I think. So I've got five plush to show you, but I wanted to show you an honourable mention before we start with the plush review. Now, I did see this one in Walt Disney World, and I was really, really glad I ordered it, because it was only £28, and while I think £28 is a bad price for a cushion, I mean when it's like the cushion I'm sat behind right now. This was like a £6 cushion, so paying £28 for this cushion would be very bad. However, I paid £28 for this cushion. So I'm just going to get it out of the bag because as always, Shop Disney UK are throwing the recycling blame onto me or the recycling burden. But this is a big 3D Christmas bauble. So it's red all over. It's Mickey shaped with the ears. And then just between the ears, it's got a silver and gold tab that's meant to look like what you would hang from the tree. So you've got kind of like the silver holder and then a gold tab that actually opens it's a real tab but i wouldn't hang it from anything and then in the middle you've got a white circular kind of foam piece with a green castle on the top so because of the way it's been embroidered you would actually be able to feel for yourself that that is the castle and then there's kind of like a circle around it it kind of gives me like the 1950s tv show vibes and i just love it so i think this is going to go in our living room next week i will be showing you how i've decorated for christmas and i'm so so excited to show you you may notice that behind me isn't christmas a and that's a decision i kind of had to make because i will be filming january videos in december so i really don't want the shelves to be all Christmas plush and then besides what would go on the Christmas plush sofa if they were all here. So this is honourable mention, I absolutely love it. If it's all in stock by the time this video goes up I will leave affiliate links down below so that you can get your own and at no cost to you I gain a small commission and it helps me to buy the things that I buy because I would buy these anyway but as they are for videos I try and put my affiliate marketing money and my YouTube money back into my channel by paying when I can for those things with my YouTube money so thank you in advance so this is going to stay up here until I'm ready to decorate the living room so I'm going to start with Minnie again she's in a bag I don't agree with these bags as you know they're in a box sometimes when i buy them on their own they even come in another bag so they're just a bag inside a bag and they've usually put them in the bag so badly that their ears are bent but minis luckily aren't but we'll see what mickey's like so this is the Minnie Mouse Christmas 2023 medium soft toy. She was released on Shop Disney UK on Monday the 2nd of October and she cost £21 retail though at the time of filming she is £12.50 if you spend £10 I think. They didn't put her on that offer straight away. I think there's only been two years where they did that and it's usually when they release them later than they thought. They have to put them on that offer quickly to sell more units. So annoyingly I did pay full price but I don't like to chance it because I'm sure there was a year where I only got a Mickey because the mini sold out and I had to get her on eBay years later. So I just don't do that. I would highly recommend to you guys to wait for them to go on offer but it's just too important to me to have every single years mickey and minnie i wouldn't want to miss out on them so what's so special about her again the shop disney website have messed up the copy because they call her mickey so it says twas the night before christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring except minnie mouse 
Soft toy Mickey makes a cuddly stocking for the surprise in her candy cane costume and Santa hat with satin bow. Who is signing these things off? I work in marketing. There are a lot of levels of sign off before something can go on the website and yet they're calling Mini Mickey and it's Disney. Such a big company as Disney should not be making this mistake. And I see it time and time again now when I'm doing these plush review videos and it's just avoidable because if one more person would read that before it went on the website, they'd catch it. So she's dressed in a candy cane print this year. I've got to say, this is one of my more favourite ones. I'm not going to do a ranking this year because I'll be honest, I've only got two gaps in my schedule and they will probably be filled fairly easily because i have a lot of videos on my to make list so i will just fill the gap with one of those but next year i will probably do a ranking video it's just i know next year i won't have this many vlogs to put out and that's taken up most of my schedule for vlogmas but not really vlogmas because it was halloween vlogs that were going up so she's got a santa hat on the trim of the Santa hat like the white trim is absolutely gorgeous it's so soft it's softer than any plush I've reviewed recently and then she's got a little satin bow on it and then even the red of the hat is a softer material than I'm used to the list of what it's made from is polyester ethylene vinyl and acetate foam so the white must be acetate foam i assume the rest is polyester and then what i'm saying is the silk is the ethylene vinyl i assume and then she's got embroidered features on her face so her eyes are embroidered you can feel like the pupil and the eyelashes and things and then inside of her mouth her tongue is embroidered and then her outfit is a dress that's got a green top with red trim red and white candy cane buttons which aren't 3d they're just screen printed onto the dress and then the skirt is a striped candy cane pattern which again is just screen printed on and then she's got little green shoes and it says disney 2023 on her left foot and it's actually embroidered so you can feel that i absolutely love the tags for this year so these are the parks tags because spoiler alert these are the two parks plushes that i've got for this year so you'll be seeing them all together when i decorate for christmas but they are getting reviewed separately because they are available separately because you can't get these on the Shop Disney UK website this year. I haven't looked whether you can on the US website, but they're generally parks exclusive. I've managed to get Halloween parks exclusive ones on Shop Disney UK, but not Christmas. So is she worth the money? £21 is actually cheaper than the standard medium plush now. They're 23 So I would say yes, she is because she is coming in under what that standard price mark is. And obviously at the moment, £12.50 is an absolute steal. You very rarely get a plush of this size for that price unless you're going to say Primark and even then Primark are putting their prices up for their plush now so I would definitely buy her at 21 I did buy her at 21 but I'm saying that she's definitely worth it and especially since she's in such a nice outfit this year it's harder to say other years but this year she looks absolutely adorable and then to get Mickey out of the bag now see Mickey's one ear is bent back that shouldn't be happening there is no point putting them in the bag to protect them from their ears getting bent if you're putting them in with a bent ear I imagine it's a machine that does it, but I always end up with a bad Mickey or Minnie. But it doesn't really matter because I should be able to bend his ear back where he sat on the plush sofa, I think. So this is the Mickey Mouse Christmas 2023 medium soft toy. He again released on Shop Disney UK on Monday the 2nd of October and he is also £21, but right now he's in that £12.50 offer. He might be on a different offer by the time this video goes up, but like I said, there will be links down in the description if they are still in stock for you to go and buy your own if you haven't yet. So what's so special about it? I was about to say this copy is actually correct, but there's a repeated word in there. So it says, "'Twas the the night before Christmas." So they've not deleted an extra the. Even Word documents pick that up in the editor screen. So there's no excuse for that being missed. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring except Mickey Mouse. Soft toy Mickey makes a cuddly stocking for the surprise in his candy cane costume and Santa hat. So I think they 
copied Mickey's over to Minnie's and then didn't change Mickey, but I'm pretty sure Minnie didn't have the two thes. So I don't know what happened there. But like I said, an extra pair of eyes would have picked that up if I'm picking it up when I'm just reading it for a video. Admittedly, I am quite picky as a proofreader and I do it a lot, but that shouldn't be happening. So they describe this material as the law on the website, but when I was looking at what it's made from, it does not say velour anywhere. So again, I'm just assuming that it's polyester. So he's got the same sand hat as Minnie that's got a very soft red velour and then white acetate foam. And then he's got embroidered eyes, embroidered tongue in his mouth. I should have said as well, their skin is black because what you will see with the Parks plush is that their skin is a very soft brown, which is a nice change because we don't really see that with Mickey and Minnie changing their fur like that. And then he's wearing a candy cane striped jacket which matches Minnie's skirt although Minnie's skirt goes straight down and his stripes go diagonally and he's got little screen printed green pockets. And then underneath he's wearing a pink shirt with a candy cane striped tie again screen printed so you can't feel any of these details unfortunately. And then he's got green velour trousers and red shoes and on that left foot is an embroidered Disney 2023. I can't remember when they changed from Disney Store to Disney, but it just doesn't look as good to me. I don't think it should say Disney Store, but they can't really do that when they've only got one Disney Store in London. So, but again, is he worth the money? I would say yes for the same reasons I said yes with Minnie. They're not kind of ripping you off with these. They are the same price every year. They're also less than what the standard plush price is now. Again, £12.50 is a really good deal and the deal might keep getting improved when they need to shift the stock. So if you haven't got it yet, it might be even cheaper or there might be a code that you can use on top of it or something. They've got a lot of Christmas offers on at the moment, but I'm doing this video when I am because I think the Christmas posting cutoff date will be sometime next week. So if you do want them, put your orders in very soon. So that's Mickey. I absolutely love him. Again, I would have bought him anyway because I really love how he looks. If you watched my ranking video last year, and if you didn't, I will leave a card up above. You can see that I kind of gravitate towards the ones that are dressed smarter. The ones that are more casual, I don't love as much. And then we're going to go on to Stitch. So I've got to get him out of the bag. So this is Stitch Festive Medium Soft Toy from Lilo and Stitch. I think he also released on Monday the 2nd of October, and he was originally £21, but at the time of filming, he's 15 which is a 29% discount, and I have a feeling he might might sell out by the time this video goes up if they're already reducing him that heavily but if he is still in stock I will leave that affiliate link down below for you. So what's so special about him? He's described as follows. Bring a little mischief to the festive fun with our Stitch Medium Soft Toy. The adorable stuffed alien with knit sweater, bow and mistletoe has come from outer space to help celebrate the season with you. So there's a lot going on with this one and to describe his sculpt, I would say he is most like the Valentine's plush I reviewed earlier this year. So if you didn't see that, I will leave a card up above because he looks worse on the website than he actually is. They always kind of post a picture of him like that with his arms to the outside of his feet and he just looks really wrong like that. And then he always arrives with his arms inside his feet like this, which looks much better. So I don't actually think he looks that desirable on the website and that's why they always have to reduce him because really they shouldn't be reducing him this early. So on the top of his head he's got a red bow which kind of looks like Mickey ears and then he's got green mistletoe cascading down onto his forehead between his eyes with the white little berries being quite tactile because they're kind of little foam pups on top of the mistletoe. So what is he made from? He just says he's made from polyester fibres, so it's just going to be different types of polyester by the look of it, but they definitely all do feel different. Like the bow feels softer than the green of the mistletoe and the white of the mistletoe is literally a type of foam, but they're not really telling us what it's made from. His eyes are embroidered, his nostrils are embroidered, he doesn't seem to have a mouth, there's no detail on the mouth at all. His ears aren't poseable, like there's nothing 
something in there to pose them but they're sticking up quite well on their own and I imagine if you did want to bend them you could find a way to force them to stay like it and then he's wearing a green Christmas jumper which is light green for the most part but with a dark green trim and then it's got kind of a red ziggy zag pattern on the middle of it now Stitch has nothing on his paws to say what year he is he's just got discs that are embroidered so you can feel each of them and then he's got little foam toenails which is really nice so there's a lot to feel on this one he's got a little tail at the back and then on the back of his head he's got that typical kind of darker blue blob that's embroidered as well so you can feel that so there's a lot to feel with this plush but he's nowhere near as detailed outfit wise as Mickey and Minnie so again he's got the same tag which is the parks one I do really love it but none of these were sold in the parks as far as I could see so I don't see why they've gone with that tag they could have had a store specific tag but I don't know is he worth the money again 21 pound is just a bit below what I usually pay for these plushes now the vault plushes for example are generally 23 although I have seen one as much as 28 and like I said at the time I'm filming this it's actually gone down to 15 pound which is a lot better so they are understanding that people don't want to pay full price at the moment especially with the rise of living costs and things don't get me wrong i would have been far happier paying 15 for this one but i think 21 was a reasonable price given the price of other things and these seasonal things you literally buy have them out for a couple of months and then put them away so i do appreciate it when they're a little bit cheaper but i would have just bought him no matter what and i did pay full price for him next we're going on to a weighted one so i'm just going to get him out of the bag i haven't actually bought a weighted plush in a while i used to sleep with a poo which is now in my office and then i got a stitch that is by the side of my bed now just in case i kind of need that weight and then i've also got a sully and i've got a murray they've released a grogu which i really love but i don't tend to buy any anymore because i can only sleep with one at a time so i only buy them if they're in line with the collection i have which yes i do have a grogu collection but i just decided not to buy him but i bought this one this year because i thought it was a nice change because we have been seeing them do other plushes that go with the plushes that we're used to so in the last two years we saw mini cuddlies and if you remember i was really upset about them because they were still 30 pound but they were probably a third of the size of a regular cuddlies and they kind of marketed it especially with its price as it being a regular size cuddlies and it just wasn't so i'm glad they haven't done that across us again this year but they've gone for another kind of popular style that people love which is the weighted plushes so i've got an eeyore i don't have the regular eeyore so i thought this would be nice he's very heavy as you will know if you have one of the weighted plushes i think they're about two and a half pounds so this is the eeyore festive weighted medium soft toy he again released on monday the 2nd of october with everything else on shop disney uk and and he was £30, which is the price that all weighted plush are. So they haven't added any extra cost to him for him being dressed up or anything. Because I'm pretty sure that apart from standard outfits like Grogu's outfit, they've never dressed them up like this. The holidays are so cosy, they bring out a smile on this Eeyore holiday weighted soft toy. The sweet little donkey provides soothing comfort at bedtime, travel time or waiting up for Santa. The removable 1.1 kilogram weight inside a pouch on the back, it just says on back provides a firm reassurance when it comes to enjoying the holidays and silent nights with lovable huggable eeyore all is calm so again he's just made from polyester fibers but it also says the fill is made from silica pellets and polyester so even though it feels all different apparently it's just different types of polyester so the kind of fur of eeyore is just like the winnie the pooh i've got so i imagine that the regular eeyore is the same he's wearing a santa hat but it feels a lot different to minnie and mickey's so it's not using acetate foam and while while the red plush of the hat isn't as soft i would say that the white trim is a lot softer he's got a little tuft of hair coming out between his eyes and he's got embroidered eyebrows embroidered eyes embroidered nostrils and an embroidered smile which i love and then he's got a onesie on so you can't see his feet at all he's in a red and white striped onesie sleep suit and he's got these dangly ears which are so cute but obviously he is very heavy because he is 2.5 pounds or 1.1 kilos though you can remove it in his back so there's a velcro strap down his back and then where the kind of bum bit is for a onesie he's got 
two little green and white buttons that are embroidered on so you can feel them and then he's got his tail hanging down it's not velcroed like the cuddlies one is so you can't kind of detach it a little bit and then it's got a green bow at the bottom of his tail so i really really love him but i'm just going to set him down on my lap because he's really heavy and i'm just holding him with one hand so is he worth the money like i said all of the weighted plush i've ever bought apart from the sully that was imported was 30 pound so i'm happy to pay 30 pound for a weighted plush they haven't added any extra money onto him for his extra detail or anything and I just think he's really lovely and then I saved the best one or the best two until last these are going to be really hard to hold with one hand aren't they so these are the Chippendale holiday medium soft toy set these came up on Shop Disney UK on Monday the 2nd of October as a coming soon so there was a place where you could put in your email address and it would send you an email when it came in stock I don't know whether it was the next Monday or whether it was a few days later but as soon as they came in stock I ordered them because I was worried that this one would sell out but at the time of filming it still hasn't sold out which is good they were £30 and at the time of filming they're not in any offers and they haven't been reduced in any way just like Eeyore so only Stitch and Mickey and Minnie are in any kind of sale at the moment this merry mischievous pair of soft stuffed I'm fed up of finding copy issues it says soft soft when it should be soft stuffed chipmunks have gone nutty for the holidays in their elfin wear with furry trims store up plenty of Chippendale soft toys for winter I do love that so it's made from just polyester fibers again but it's a set of two soft toys as you can see I I personally love when Chip and Dale are just connected rather than being sold separately. The new emos are sold separately, some sums are sold separately. You foofies were sold together, but the big one that annoys me is the big feet were sold separately. So I have Chip and I would really like Dale but I don't want to pay full price for Dale because it just annoys me that I'm buying the same plush twice. So I feel like one year I might have to ask Santa for the Dale big feet because I just can't justify buying it, unfortunately. But I do love when they come together. They've done this with Halloween plushes. They did it with the Disney 100 plushes as well, the Walt Disney World 50th plushes. It's just a really nice touch when they're just connected and sold together. So they've both got Santa hats and elf outfits on, but they coordinate. So Chip has got a very dark green teal hat and a dark red outfit and then Dale has got the matching hat but then his outfit is a lighter green though the belt matches the colour of his hat. So the white trim of the hats isn't as soft as the other ones we've had but then the hat itself is really soft and then they've got embroidered eyes and eyebrows and embroidered mouths and then their teeth. One tooth for chips and two teeth for Dale are actually 3D so you can feel those. And then there's white trim on their outfits and then you can feel the belt because it's a different type of material and then the buckle is a different type of material as well it's actually 3d so you can feel it so there's a lot to feel on these plushies you're able to make out their features just by feeling there's nothing on their feet to say that they're 2023 and they've got the parks tag as well so are they worth the money 30 pound for one plush would be a lot of money but because i consider these to be two i consider them to be 15 pound each and that makes it easier for me to justify them if i could only buy one plush from this entire plush review it would always be the chip and dales because i just absolutely love them my favorite halloween plush and if you didn't see my halloween plush ranking i'll leave it in the description was the frankenstein and frankenstein's monster of chip and dale because i I just thought it was so well done so i really love when they are connected and i would buy them anyway but i think 30 pound for two plushes isn't too bad but don't get me wrong if they were like 26 or something that would be a lot better but I think they're worth the money at £30. So that is my Disney plush review for all of the Christmas plush that have released this year. Now that we are in mid-November when I'm filming this I personally don't think they will bring out any more. We've also had Christmas munchlings so if you didn't see that unboxing I will leave a card up above. It came out yesterday so I really don't think we will see any more plush now which is good for me because I really need to get focused on other people's Christmas presents instead of buying my Myself things but that is it from me today i really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below which one was your favorite mine was obviously chip and dale i'll be back tomorrow with the series two of the primark munchlings so join me tomorrow if you're interested in that if not have a great rest of your evening and i will see you real soon bye